Hey, what up, Facebook? This your boy, Bouchon Glover, Vendor Black American TV on YouTube. Just wanted to chime in and uh, you know see what y'all got going on for the uh, Corona vacation, or, or, or my bad, the coronavirus. And uh, headed into the studio to get some work done while everything shut down, so able to focus and take the, uh, the next two to three weeks to get everything situated and to move forward, you know, because sometimes you know, you gotta look for the silver lining in the storm cloud as well as the eye of the storm. And I know some people are worried about the coronavirus, but like I said in the video that I posted earlier, go check it out, it's on YouTube. And I believe it's on my Facebook post as well. It's my name, Bouchon Glover. Uh, you know, for blacks, common cold, because a month ago, if they would have started to uh, you know, started the pandemic. You know, I was suffering from some uh, symptoms, but you know, took some rest, took some night will, you know, and uh, back 100%. So there it is. And uh, the good news in this coronavirus, I got I watch multiple news outlets, and if you watch any TV, you know, kind of got bored of Netflix and. Uh, watching streaming services, you know, because I'm uh, suffering from uh, uh, sports anxiety. Because <laughs> there's no sports on television. <laughs> oh man! But the good thing is, it depends how how they spin it. And when I say it depends on how they spin it, uh, I watched. Uh, I think it was the. Uh, like international news outlet, and they said that uh, China, uh, the cases have rose uh, in an alarming rate from 5% of the people be, uh, being tested, testing positive to 7%, you know, but the flip side of that is, and they don't really tell you this part because if they say, well, um, well, in China, the, the, while they're doing the mandatory testings, um, the uh, virus, uh, people with, with that has contracted the virus has risen uh, to, uh, 2%, okay? But if you look at the big picture, this is how they spin it, look at the big picture. So out of the people that they tested, it was 5% last week, now 7% has tested positive. There is still 93% of people in China that's testing negative. See, they don't tell you that. So if they say that there's mandatory testings and 93% of the people in China where it has originated, 93% um, has tested negative. It's nothing to be alarmed about that, okay? Because the probability of you getting, getting it is, is pretty minute. But if they spin it in a way to say uh, the uh, virus, uh, people who have, people who have contracted the virus has risen a grand two percent in just one week, you know. But like I said, if they say ninety three percent of the people in China where it has originated uh, has, has tested negative, that's pretty much good news. And then when you look at the state of California, we still have more homicides than the deaths and coronaviruses, you know, so we're looking to see down the road uh, what will the uh, corrective action be in the long game. Is it something that's mandatory? Is it something that we got to get used to? Or is this something that would just go away? And I'm, I'm, I'm pleased uh, with the Trump administration for overreacting because if you underreact, overreact, you know, they're going to deem you um, you know, not not you know, not presidential or whatever the case that they want to do. But the uh, current administration is doing a great job. But what got me scratching my head is uh, the stimulus packages that's uh, trending right now. The stimulus packaging, you know, they're talking about 1.3 trillion dollars into a stimulus package, and they they're even considering sending checks to American people so 1.3 trillion dollars okay and i have to say that this situation right here is 
is a loss for the uh, reparations, the AO, the descend Descendants of Slave Act, or the people that's fighting for reparations, because clearly, you know, the bonds, the, the freedmen bonds that were put away for the Freedmen's Bank in a sum of $8 billion by, um, by Abraham Lincoln has gained interest. And you're wondering where are they pulling this stimulus money from? And I'm telling you, they're not just talking about giving black folk money. They're talking about giving everybody money. And see, that's what the issue was when they broke the black race up and created this ethnicity. Now it's everybody because the black race still has some issues. But now that we're in the pandemic, we could just distribute the funds to everybody, make it a class action lawsuit. And the more people that's involved, it's the less of the payouts. Because if you look at America, we have roughly 30 million, you know, and, and I'm not doing this. I'm doing this in my head. So I might be also, you know, it's figuratively, not literal. So we're talking about a sum of 30, around 30 to 35 million blacks uh, in America. You're talking about $1.3 trillion. And if I, I could be staying corrected, somebody could do the math. And what the math says is that's enough to give every black person over $100,000. But since you make it everybody make it a class action lawsuit in a pandemic, you know, then we're not giving them jigs, no, no, no seed money. Because one thing the Democratic Party, one thing the two wing, the two party system, because it takes two wings to fly, one thing that Republicans and Democrats agree on is that they will not give an advantage to the black race over whites or any other American citizens. That's something that they agree on. Because the last time that they passed a, 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 a unanimous bill in the House, okay, not, not in the House, in Congress, I mean, well, in the Senate, yeah, because there's 100 senators and the president or the vice president has a vote as well, just in case there's a tiebreaker. But when Sleepy Joe, Joe Biden, who's the Democratic frontrunner, who has a astronomical lead over Bernie Sanders, wrote the 94 crime bill and sold it to the American people, you know, in the three strikes you're out and, you know, to 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 uh, go against the notion that Democrats are easy on crime because what Reagan did with just say no and all of the um, with the batter ram and the crack air and all that stuff. Oh, Bill Clinton and, 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 and Sleepy Joe, man, Sleepy Joe wrote a crime bill so cold. It passed the House. It passed the Senate 101 to zero. Because every Republican that saw and that read that bill that was written by Joe Biden, and one thing I gotta give to Bernie Sanders, he ended up voting for the bill, but he was, uh, uh, he, he tried to, um, he debated against the bill. He voted for the bill, but Bernie Sanders debated against the bill, and that's fact. But it passed 101 to zero, and those Republicans was like, man, this is what the Democrats gonna do to these, okay? Because systematically, the Democrats, you know, they pretty much want to own the black vote. But this is the last, the last generation, you know, is pretty much, you know, on on the final chapter. Uh, because the baby boomers is the last um, alliance when it comes to blackness that the Democratic Party have. Because when you talk to youngsters, you know, they they'll vote for a socialist in terms of Bernie Sanders and not know and not know, you know, the ramifications of that. And not know the ramifications of that. So, but just you know, Sleepy Joe, Democratic front runner, the Democratic establishment machine is behind him, as well as the DNC. Bernie Sanders don't have a chance, but can Sleepy Joe beat um, Trump? But what Trump's doing uh, right now, you know, Trump is solidifying his second term. So that's why it's so important and imperative uh, why we as uh, black people have to have our own narrative because clearly, you know, they're not gonna single us out and, and, and do something for us uh, specifically for us. It's gonna be everybody. So therefore we must understand what it's like. You know, we, we must understand in terms of generational wealth, you know, starting to buy and ownership and leadership, you know, because the Democratic Party is pretty much about to get its wing clipped off because a, a bird can't fly with just one wing. So we're going to have to mutate to the heart of this two wing system. So if the wings get clipped, we can still survive. 
you know. But that being said, man, I'm about to pull on in here, man. Put some gloves on, put some gas in the whip, and uh, go on about my day. But man, y'all have a good day, man. I just wanted to chop it up while I was in traffic. Facebook, man, and y'all be cool. You know, I think I'm gonna post, and I'm gonna post this on YouTube as well, man. Just to just to stay, you know, uh, uh, in the spin cycle with the content. And with that being said, man, y'all have a good day. Peace out, your boy Bouchon Glove. Better Black America TV, YouTube. Peace out.